Hey, hey, and welcome to Darius Comic School. And today we look at my first, well, not my first, but let's say my second, or maybe first real eight page, eight, like five plus three, eight page um, comic. And why this is important. Um, the comic is called Diablero. It's inspired by Diablo and a western called Keoma um, by Sergio Corbucci. So it's a western meets medieval fantasy game or hack and slay game. And as you can see the Tristram church, but uh, this guy here Keoma is a Native American half-blood and he comes back from the civil war only to find his old town devastated by a demon um, yeah and before we go into this um, I've watched it like other people make so first <laughs> the sponsored or the com commercial this are the comics right now I have produced um, this is my main comic right now it called it's called the last pickup artist it's about this guy and he just wants a girlfriend, but he cannot have a girlfriend. And this guy, who is a da dating coach, and then you find out that mm, the reason why you're not getting a girlfriend, it goes deeper. The roots, are, it's rooted in our society. It's rooted in how we are raised. Um, it's rooted in the foods we eat and the world we grew up and yeah, the parents we have. So this is the last pickup artists link down below you can sign up for a patreon you can send me a message if you want them i'm right now producing issue three and four and then i wrap this one up because i have much more to come then this was my very first comic this i am remastering um, all my comics will always be readable for free because that's my philosophy uh, and if you want to sign up for a Patreon, that's great because you can get yourself into the comic. This is like Rick and Morty meets uh, Conan the Barbarian and Commandy and all that good time traveling stuff with barbarians and marines from Half-Life and uh, pretty salty uh, ape professors and worms from another dimension yeah this is barbarian adventure if you want to read this uh, check the link down below and this one jackie is a patreon or was a patreon and yeah you can become part of the story and for in case you want to play the werewolf game this is werewolf this is the coolest version and yeah pretty cool cards if you want something like this check the link down below I don't know if I can keep up this commercial before I do a review I kinda hate it or skip it but this time I wanted to do try it myself and I don't really like it <laughs> but we'll see how we'll go from this point so let's jump into the very first comic Keoma and my first pages I will show you also um, this is like uh, a book Oh, I was forgetting this one the wasteland manifesto is also the comic that will follow after um, the last pickup artist so stay tuned this is Mad Max meets uh, the American Pie and we will take a look these are the sketches for young Tuerto this will <coughs> check out another time but as you can see this is the page <coughs> and this is pretty much um, well this page I have drawn but I changed it up a bit but as you can see the layouts and the final version are pretty much how it turned out but we will take a look at this later so uh, Keoma, uh, half-blood, raised by a guy um, 
who slew Native Americans but then saved a child and uh, let him grow. Yeah, he he comes back from the war and then he finds like this slave. It's all in German, this one version, but I may uh remaster it soon and then uh it will come in many languages. Well, German and English <laughs> that's for sure. And as you can see my coloring kind my coloring style is kinda same, like I'm always in love with um old um Marvel Comics, Watchmen style coloring and uh, Dave Stewart style. I think it does a great job. And so he comes back and he finds uh, George, the old slave, and he's the only one who survived. And he said, the Padre went everybody down the church. This is like uh, in Diablo 1 when you encounter the guy and it tells him the butcher. And then he says uh, that they slayed some Native American shaman, but um, they slayed the village. Um, but then something was haunting them and following them into the church where they thought they w were safe. And then he tells him that it's a demon. And Kiyoma says, it's impossible. I don't believe this. And then he says, yeah, believe it because and and he tells him please um may my avengers and let us find peace and then he dies and george goes into the church as we could go here now in detail in the in the layouts but i did many many layouts i put down everything in words in thumbnails um, the mood and it was very well planned and as you can see here um, this next page then we turn the page and boom here we are into the church and then we 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 hear the splash sound of some liquid of course it's blood and he walks down the church and he looks and he hears the plop and then he sees the pool of blood and then is he's in he's in the church, and this is a bit Metal Gear, I guess. And Metal Gear meets Diablo meets horror western. I tell you my references so you can um, understand how I put this together and how you could put this together and how people like Quentin Tarantino put things together. And as you can see here, good layouts go a freaking long way. Like it's almost like um, maybe a bit stolen from Mike Mignola, uh, but also the feeling. And then when when the blood drips down, he gets it on his hand, but uh, he he gets the blood drip on his head, and then he turns his head, and boom, he looks up. But we're not right there. Like yeah, but as you can see, um, the layout's pretty pretty well laid in, and here uh, like the the statue of of something and um, no no holy water everywhere blood and people and then this is the book from Diablo one you will recognize this and then blood drips down and then in the layout the padre was speaking nailed to a cross and then his head flew off but here is Keoma looks up and then the priest says Keoma Ah, Shannon's half-breed bastard son. <laughs> and then he tells him that uh, he wasn't just eating the flesh of the heathens, uh, like the Native Americans, but also their souls. This I stole from Sin City 1. And yeah, so he's the padre is nailed or, or pinned to the cross with his stuff and bloody and then suck this i guess i stole from uh, dracula bram stalkers or mike mignola's dracula and then his head flies off but he's still talking and this is the bit where he, he says that he was not only eating their bodies but also their soul and then his head gets picked up and here kiyoma looks in terror and he sees this strange being which is um, 
we don't know what he is like she looks like a vamp vampire nosferatu something like this but he's clearly also a native american and something is sticking out from his uh yeah and here much more impressive in the layout um we see here um the gun would have been also a very cool panel also like look the eye then you go down here then you see um keoma's shoulder his hand and then impressive in the back he stands here like with the head in his head i think this layout would have been a bit better than the final piece but yeah sometimes you gotta figure out and then we turn around and we see that this guy is somewhat strange and then he transforms i wish i would have put it but uh, um, more panels but this is all i got like here the ripping of the flesh and then how a, a panel in between would have brought more clarity like if, if flesh would have fallen away here and you could see how he rips like one panel is missing and then he instantly attacks this is the page this is how it looks like i'm pretty happy about all of this stuff and then we get a long panel um he's approaching he's shooting from the hip like bam 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 and then this guy takes a few blows very small panels i wish they would have been bigger but i was telling a lot of story on this page is not the best storytelling but one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten panels is a lot for a page and i was squeezing that much because like um mobius told me just eight pages but i would have maybe um more pages would have helped the story develop better but sometimes it's good to be a bit limited so you can really try making the best with what you have and as you can see this is really rudimentary but it also tells the story because like after this he takes a few blows but then he fucks him up and as we see like here bam bam and then it comes down here and then you get vroom like it's really beautifully made like you see this and yeah great dynamic even if the anatomy isn't quite right or there and a couple of paid panels and then he get takes the blows and as you can see this is not realistic coloring this is this is dave stewart these are the scenes we see the yellow here pop um because like this is the pen then he barely yeah he's bleeding a lot already and he's down on his knees um and we can take a look here what the layouts say for this page yeah pretty much the same like we see yeah uh, we we would have seen the the eyes and and the the diamond in his um front a bit better and then pretty much how it plays out and here as you can see not as good as then the final piece and then we we come here and the werewolf puts his finger in the wounds licks the blood from his own wound and he's 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 turned on i guess and this guy uh gets himself up he grabs the gun but he's shaking like this guy is already fucked up and i love this because it raises the stakes like this guy is not a captain marvel he will not freaking whip the werewolves um ass like like nothing like this guy is already he's taken just one blow and is already on his breaking point and as you can see he he bites his his um his teeth together and as you can see i i'm pretty proud of the composition but like yeah he enjoys him he's really fucked up but he gets him so and then uh an arrow comes from nowhere and hits the werewolf and here the amazon approaches and helps the guy out and as i see it she is the one who comes also from the village or from a different village but hunts the cursed 
Native Americans who turned themselves into werewolves. I guess there's a deep lore of that, but yeah, just take it for this. Uh, so she's maybe a hunter, and yeah, the layouts. What do the layouts say? Pretty much the same as you can see here. This shot with his shaking knees would have been great, but yeah, kind of kind of different layout. Can't read this layout, but as you get, he's uh, down on his knees. She approaches the arrow hits, and almost the same. And then the werewolf takes a freaking leap, gets her. She's already bleeding from her nose. Um, the werewolf just puts her down. She's on her knees. Anatomically, not very correct, but still a great panel, still, still dynamic. He grabs his sword from behind his back. He grabs with his other hand um, his bullets or his bullet, uh, how do you say, in German it's called the Gut, of jeden Fall his bullets, his bullets, and then he approaches or leaps towards the werewolves and puts uh, the bullet chain, or how, how do you say, I'm the word is not coming to me, but his belt, the bullet belt, and he's putting the belt w with with the sword, he sticks it to the werewolf. So you have here a chain of bullets and he imprints it into the uh, werewolf. The werewolf gives him, gives him a slap. This is the second slap. Um, the werewolf is now fully enraged. As you can see, the st uh, not the sword, but the dagger is um, sticking out the back and also the belt. And yeah, the werewolf is now <laughs> I guess angry and he's totally fucked up this is the second hit this time he doesn't know he spits a lot of blood I'm very happy about this color I don't know where I take this from um, sometimes when I color this is like very stream of consciousness I just pick the colors and I slap it on and yeah and he looks up but he he has a plan and his hands are all fucked up. This guy's barely is crawling to his gun, and I mean, what is this guy gonna do? And then he 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 gets the gun, but it's all shaking like it's all the barrel is very flimsy, and then the werewolf is ready to kill. Like this is is this is there's no recovery from this, and this guy turns around. Bang, 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 and you, as you can see, he's aiming for the bullets and the knife. So he hopes to to get one bullet to explode, and then boom! The freak of nature just takes a fucking huge hit and explodes. And then in the next panel, and we will see what the layouts will say. And in the next panel, this guy has a huge hole in his chest. Um, Kioma approaches the Native American that is now turning to a human again uh, and a huge and smoke's coming from his chest this guy's dead or bleeding to death or at least he's gone and so Kioma watches this guy and sees this diamond in his uh, huge uh, front maybe too much but well um, and then he picks it out with the best hand I could draw at the time, but yeah, it kind of boom. He takes it out, and then this guy in the back is already decomposing with a huge hole here. And this guy takes a look at this diamond and is totally fascinated. This I stole from the end of Diablo 1, and then look at this. And he puts it in his own front, and yeah. This is where the curse begins anew and he falls to his knees screaming in this um, haunted cathedral and screams and as you can see statues and the fucked up werewolf turned back to Native American here the woman who wanted to save him and here 
he on him, on his knees and then it's gone and this is like Diablero and well whew, man this 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 eight pages really really it was really worth drawing this um I could show you um like I did in Cargis the pencils and maybe I do that um in the next episode but yeah thumbnails turned out really good and I really put a lot of work um holding this down this I guess I got from looks really like Metal Gear when he shoots with his pew 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 and then boom when he explodes and yeah here you can see a different page a bit later I changed it then up but um, I took a lot of these ideas um, and as you can see this goes on forever like I'm 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 redoing pages and pages and here you see the Native American how he falls to the ground and this is why these books are so great. You see here, he goes down the stairs and and again and again, trying the late odds and picking what you need and discarding what you don't need. And yeah, so far, Diablero. Um, this is not yet in print. I'm thinking about uh, either remastering it or putting this in a sketchbook, which I maybe want to develop or like a comic of um how do you call it like all my artworks all my comic pages and put it into um one volume and maybe kickstart it or something like this it's not the greatest art yet i know there's a, a lot of better artists but i did put my heart and soul into this and it's really it hold up well and if i would redo it i would do it much better so i'm 36 i'm not going away this is what I want to do if you want to support me on Patreon or something like this. Um, or follow and subscribe. This is just the beginning of the journey. See you.